Hello guys, welcome back to another video today. Today is my Premier League predictions, week 30, the end in sight. For the clubs that are in trouble, you, uh, you ain't got time, you ain't got a lot of time to start saving yourselves. I have had a look at the a lot of the teams and what uh, fixtures you've got coming up. If I had to choose three at the minute, I'll go West Brom, maybe Stoke, and I think it'll either be Southampton or Palace um, to take 18. Um, obviously a massive week for my local team, um, beating Arsenal at home 2-1. Um, if I was, apparently I've heard that Arsenal Wenger ain't going to um, leave at the end of the season, which is going to please Arsenal fans, uh, not. Um, as you saw in my vlog, I reckon he should leave, if he cares that much for the club, he's got more back in there. But cl clubs that think they're going to come down to the MX need to stop thinking it's going to be easy. If you're going to think it's going to be easy, we will take we will take all three points. Um, obviously, I'll wait to everything this weekend. That prediction is coming up in this video. So, guys, without any further ado, let's get into it. Guys, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So, the first one I'm going to talk to you about is the big one and why it's on my thumb now it is Man United Liverpool at Old Trafford um, Liverpool are none scoring uh, keep on scoring goals sorry um, and then you've got Man United who just got a 3-2 victory over Palace uh, with that Matic super goal um, now I know Man United fans are going to hate me for this Guys, it's just my prediction. I've got a funny feeling it will happen. Plenty of feeling like you did against Palace. I can roughly see a 6 0 Liverpool result coming up. And not, that's not the only time Pop Brown matches have been caught out in their positions. Um, it has happened quite a lot. But for that one, sorry United. I will go Liverpool away win. Before I get on with this prediction, just like to say one more thing, guys. If you are travelling over the weekend, be safe, safe trip, enjoy your day out, and uh, just enjoy the football. The next one is, as I said, my local team, Brighton. Um, we're away to Everton this weekend. Uh, as I've already said, big three points for us against uh, Arsenal. Everton lost to Burnley away. Um, Everton have really started to step off the mark now. I've apparently heard that they won out of the dice out. Um, a stepping down the table. So for that one, I'm going Brighton away win. Um, the next one is Huddersfield Swansea at the John Smith Stadium. Um, now, obviously, Huddersfield are down there as well. Swansea had a big uh, win at the weekend uh, over West Ham at the Liberty Stadium. Um, with that one, I don't think Swansea are going to do that good away from home. However, I they there on the weekend. I don't think Huddersfield are going to find it that easy to break down Swansea when, with their style of play. So for that one, I'll call in a draw. The next one I want to talk to you about is a long trip for the Southampton fans. It is, of course, Newcastle, Southampton. Now, I went up there uh, not last season, not last season. Uh, yeah, yeah. sorry, last season, um, to St. James's Park. As I said, Ducos won that scrap as well. I think they were another possible team that could be 18th spot. Obviously, Southampton are down there, so that's a big game down the bottom this week. Uh, for that one, I don't think Ucastle will fully attack, because they're too right about conceding. I think Southampton will play sort of the same 
way lot of that. So for that one, yet again, I'm calling it a draw. Now the next one is the team I already think's gone. Um, seven, uh, eight points away from safety now. Uh, it is West Brom versus Leicester at Hawthorne. Um, now, uh, with that one, I think I do think Leicester will grab the win. Um, I've seen what West Brom's doing and uh, all the clubs are thinking about. They want their manager out. Um, they've already sat their chair and they've already sat someone else. Um, so for that one, yeah, a Leicester away win. The next one, and another team that's down the bottom, is West Ham versus Burnley at the Olympic Stadium. Um, now this stadium is the only stadium that I know that's got three or four names. Um, I just like point out it's the London Stadium, it's the Olympic Stadium, it's Queen Elizabeth Stadium. It's um, you know the names go. I think there's one more um, without taking the mic out of it. Uh, but for that one, I went to West Ham away this season. My vlog did go up, um, but for that one, I'll go Burnley away win. Now the next one is another big one, um, both ends of the table in fact. It's Chelsea versus Crystal Palace at Stamford Bridge. Um, now Chelsea are outside that top four bracket. Um, and then you've got Palace in that relegation zone as it stands at this current time. Um, but, sorry Brighton fans, I think Palace got a pinch this one. They play anything like they did against United. Uh, Chelsea are dipping form at home. Um, you've got Chelsea dipping form at home. Well, I'll just go to Chelsea. They're dipping form. They're clubbing to us. Their manager won't happen with the transfer business they done. And they're, and you know, the problems go on and on. So for that one, I'm going to Palace, a shock away win. Now the next one, going on to Sunday's and Monday's game now. It's Arsenal versus Watford at the Emirates Stadium. <sighs> now I've already summed up at the um, I just want to say this why I remember there's only three teams that's came down to the MX and got maximum points and they are Liverpool, Man City and Chelsea. All the rest have either had to take draws or have got three points. So if you're f in the future coming to the, towards the end of this season, think you're going to get the three points, well we ain't going to make it easy. Um, but anyway, on back to the Arsenal Watford game. Now I think Arsenal problems are going to continue with this game as well. Um, I don't think um, that way. Uh, I think if Arsenal stays, um, I know this is a strong, a really hard possibility, but I think it could be correct. And I'm thinking that Arsenal could go down um, at this moment in time. I went up to the Emirates back when we played them up there. Um, and the team we played down here with, uh, against Arsenal, their team didn't look the same team that we really played up there. Czech was unbelievable, pulled off some good saves. Our two rows down here were a bit slop, uh, sloppy on their part. Um, then you got then you got better when he played. He was on the bench. You had no Ramsey. The only player that I uh, out that stood out for me, on the same as the Arsenal fans on here, was Jack Wiltshire. He was their danger man, and the rest didn't look like they want to work. 
I do not, I saw us a regular golf off his seat once, and that's like five minutes before the end. So, anyway, I saw, you know what I think? Hope your problems get sorted out really soon. I'd like to see you back in that Championship League fight. Um, obviously, I've always seen you as a top four club. Seeing you like this, seeing you like down with us at the minute, it's, uh, it'd be interesting if we overtake you. Um, just from a uh, newly promoted team perspective, that the, um, just think of it this way, we finish above you, newly promoted team, and you finish below us, Surely your chairman's got to start thinking about management. Uh, if he cares about your club. If not, um, I think the best thing for you is to set a gun up against the manager, go up against the board, um, try and get them out, and then they will work on the manager because they want someone new in charge. Especially if they keep seeing what, the, what you're doing at the minute. But for that one, I'm going Watford away with. The next one is Bournemouth Spurs. Um, Vitality Stadium. Uh, now, sorry Bournemouth fans, I can't see you getting anything out of this game. So I'm just going to call it Spurs away with. Now the next one and this is another team that, if I, if I lose this week, I think they could be down if results go against them as well. Um, is Stoke May City at the Bet365 stage. Now, no disrespect to Stoke. Um, they kept, May City came down to the and they got two goals, but they seem to have gone everywhere now and absolutely smashing the team through their plan. Um, so for that one, I'm going Man City away win. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and ciao for now.